time to play Bald Faces, the game where true stories turn into lies. I'm Dylan Redling, and here to try to judge just when the truth turns into a big lie are our celebrity contestants. All of them are stars from the original Psychic Outlaws. From left to right, meet Larry Hatchett. <laughs> Tara Good. <laughs> Clarence A. Mitchell. And Greg Densler. And now, let's meet our first liar. It's pretty Judy Vibar. Another psychic outlaw. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dylan. I'm ready to tell the truth up to a point, and then I'm going to tell lies and nothing but lies. That's right. And our celebrity contestants will try to buzz in when they think you started lying. OK. <laughs> If you get to the end of your story, not just yet, if you get to the end of your story without being caught, you get to keep the bubble wrap prize. He's lying. <laughs> if you get caught lying, you get to give it to one of the celebrity contestants, the one who catches you. Let's hear your story, Judy. Well, not too long ago, an apparent transient was found unconscious right outside of a hospital on the sidewalk. They brought him inside, and they found that he was brain dead, but his heart was still beating. And they had no idea who he was or who his family was. But they transplanted his heart into the chest of one of the doctors who worked at the hospital. <laughs> Later, they said that they had made an ethical mistake. <laughs> okay, it's not hold, a lie. Hold on one moment. Uh, Larry, I'm afraid you're out of this round because she was still telling the truth. And Tara, you're disqualified as well. That was still part of the truth. Continue, Judy. But they transplanted his heart into the chest of one of the doctors who worked at the hospital. Later, they said that they had made an ethical mistake, but that it was a real emergency. They said that the doctor himself had saved so many lives. Clarence, you won. That looked like a mistake, but congratulations. I wanted to do it myself, but thank you. Well, Judy, if, uh, you, if you could you get some bubble wrap yes. and give it to Clarence, yes, yes, yes. congratulations, and shake hands with all of our celebrity uh, panel here. Thank and we will much. get ready to yes, meet you. our next liar. Are, are, you, are you busy? What? And now, oh. let's meet Pat Holmes, host of the original <laughs> Psychic Outlaws. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hi, Ellen. I'm ready to tell a true story up to a point, but then... Yeah, but from that point on, it's going to be one big fib. That's right. I'm going to tell you how to fight a giant octopus. An octopus, especially a large one, is very intelligent. They have eight Atlantic slimy... <laughs> All octopuses. Oh. Okay. All octopuses. Mm. They have eight slimy arms, each of which can climb around you with a separate mission. On a giant octopus, each arm contains hundreds of suckers. But they do have a weak point known to divers who fish for octopus. They have a node right between their eyes which the fishermen bite. A what? They bite. No, a node. A, a node. Like a little. Like a node. Like a node. I'm sorry, Larry. You are disqualified. What is this? I didn't ring it. No, that was Larry. I did. I rang it. What is this? This node is not happening. No, she said no. Is it a node? It's a node. Larry is disqualified. Please continue. What is this? Bite. This. This, guy's bald. this bite <laughs> temporarily paralyzes the octopus, but doesn't kill it. This keeps it fresh but manageable. However, if you are fighting with one, there is still the problem of the thousands or so suckers on all of the arms. They are not paralyzed by the bite <laughs> and continue to suck. Uh, we we to heard get from them Tara. Off, you have to pull each one off separately. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, it looks like Pat made it to the end of the story. Oh, oh I read more. I want more. Pat, you get to keep the bubble prize. And why don't you shake hands with our celebrity panel? That makes more, me a lot more. to think about later. Actually, the uh, the bite does paralyze the uh, suckers too. Now it's time to wake up. Let's do this. Now let's get ready to meet our next liar. Only my dry cleaner will know how much I. I want you to meet. Gene, up, oh, not Gene, Richard Lauderdale. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi. 
<laughs> well, I'm ready to tell a lie. Well, actually, I'm ready to tell a true, a true story that turns into a lie. Well, let's hear it, Richard. Okay. See this painting? No. This is see this painting? <laughs> <laughs> this is called the Philadelphia Eviction. A few years ago, a group of a group called Move barricaded themselves into their apartments, oh, yes, and they yes, all yes. named themselves John Doe. Quit paying their rent. No, it's Quit. not. They were Tara's from... got an itchy trigger finger. No, they were. I'm mean, from near Philly, from New right. Jersey, actually. You're from Philly. And yeah. they're all. Uh, what was that chick's name? The Dreads. Uh, the dreads? Whoopi. There, there is, oh. is, 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 is this an animal of some kind? Or the dread is coming? Well, I'm sorry, Tara, but he's still telling the truth. It looks like you're out this round. Why don't you continue, Richard? No, is that right? Well, according to my story, yeah, right. Yes, okay. he knows But anyways, they quit picking Ramona, out the garbage. Her name was Ramona Africa. You guys are wrong. <laughs> Those are the lips. Yes. Sorry. Oh, no, but the one anyways, I you find out. Africa. But anyways, they quit paying their rent, they quit taking out the garbage, and they quit sending their kids to school. Yes. That's true. And they began making That's speeches true. on loudspeakers night and day. Yay. Well, the mayor finally said, this is war. A tear gas grenade caught the roof on fire and killed a lot of them. Well, these <laughs> figures in the background represent the souls of the victims of that fire. Wait, Wasn't no. a tear gas grenade, it was a bomb. Well, Clarence, I don't know about that. There's a bomb! Uh, boom, bomb! Judges? Boom, bomb, boom! <laughs> Clarence, boom, bomb. Clarence yeah. wins that one. All right. Ah, yes, I, know. Yes, I know my bombs! I know my bombs! I know my bombs! Bombs, bombs! Boom, boom, boom! While we get ready to greet our next one. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, I know you. You're G Maze. Hello. Yes, yes. I do more well. Yes. Well, I'm going to be honest, and then, when no one knows, I'm going to lie. I have a couple of stories for you, Dylan. Oh, great. Be my guest, Jean. <laughs> okay. Well, the lengths of time that, le between the clicks on this Geiger counter were used to determine the lengths of the designs on these dice. The artist calls them God's dice. Now, Einstein said that God doesn't play dice. <laughs> you might ask yourself, do you believe in determinism or free will? So, if you believe in, but the artist believes that there is a different option. The artist believes that there is a random quantum reality that can be amplified to the macro level. Hmm. Do you know the artist on the dice? Do I know the artist of the dice? Yeah. <laughs> Who did the dice? The yeah. artist did the dice. <laughs> Thus, <Yeah. the> <laughs> <laughs> they can be amplified to the macro level. Thus, the, macro, the, the, des macro. the design appears to be going from small to large on the dice. Anyway, the finish is verithane. The wood is bleached red wood to signify the fact that the quantum level of time can go backwards, and so can Elvis. Hey, Gene! All right. You won the Elvis. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now shake yes. hands with our celebrity well, pal. Okay. I, we, oh, I I'm have sorry. one more story though, Dylan. Okay, all right, Gene. Uh -huh. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, oh, yes. here I'm it is. Ready. You ready for this one? Yes. This one yes. is really yes, fun. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's about a man in Finland, Minnesota, who tried to hold up a convenience store with a toilet seat. Wow. Now, when the clerk refused to give him his money, the, the, the man said that he was serious. And the clerk <laughs> said he needed to see more than a toilet seat with the name Elvis on it. I don't believe it. Run along. I don't believe it. Do it. I'm sorry. Gene. Elvis. Elvis is killing me. Elvis is killing me. Judges say it's too late. Okay. Elvis is killing me. Home audience. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, you're depleting. You're depleting my wealth. I can't believe this. Let's meet our next contestant. Wait a minute. I didn't ring the.